What's up guys, Will H back with another video. So today we're doing a follow up on my Azus Chromebook Plus. Now I had this about a week now and I wanna come back and let you guys know what I think about this and give you my thoughts on it. So uh, I ended up picking this up from Target. It was 279 on sale. Normally runs about $399. So I saved you know, a little bit more than a hundred bucks on it. Now this has the Intel Core i3 12th gen processor, the 1215U, has eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. Uh, this is a little bit better than your entry level. Uh, Google has implemented the plus on these devices, you know, to, to because they have to meet a certain specs, have certain specs to be called a plus. So they're gonna give you a little bit better performance than your entry level devices. So. Uh, in order for this to be considered called a plus, it has to have a 1080p web camera, at least 128 gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM, at least 10 hours of battery life, has to have at least a 1080p display, HD IPS, has to have at, at least a Intel Core i3 processor or an AMD Ryzen 3 processor. So that is what qualifies these to be called plus. And some of the older Chromebooks that meet those specs will be, will get the update to become a Chromebook plus. So the Chromebook plus features that you're gonna get added, you're gonna get some very nice AI features. You're gonna get things like magic eraser, eraser uh, portrait blur, noise cancellation, background blur, you get offline file syncs, and you'll get stuff like Adobe Photo and Adobe Express, to name a few. So get all of that out of the way. Let's go ahead and start talking about the Chromebook here. So this is a very nice mid-level Chromebook. Great price, plastic bill, but like I said in my unboxing, feels solid, a little bit over uh, three pounds, 3.1 pounds, and it's very nice. This is what they call the pearl white color. And then the new Chromebooks Plus will be labeled Chromebook Plus here. You got a Zeus right there. You got your uh, Type-C port here. You got your LED uh, indicator right here. Now you can use this for different peripherals, hooking up your SSDs and things like that. You can also charge this from here as well. On the back, you got your ventilation and stuff. And then this side, you got another type C that can be used for the same thing. Full size HDMI, hook up to your monitors. Uh, I, I only have a 1080p monitor and it's, it's able to connect to that and push it very easily. Got two type A. Uh, I'm using one of these since no micro, no expandable mem uh, memory. I'm using that as a, to expand my memory. And then you got your headphone jack here. On the bottom, you got two speakers which sound okay, kind of tinny, uh, not the greatest sound, then you got your ventilation. Now this is a gray color compared to the pearl white. So uh, does, you know, my camera may not be showing it, but it is a darker color under the bottom of it. Very lightweight, portable, and just feels good for the price. So when you open this up, you're gonna be looking at your very nice keyboard and trackpad here. Uh, keys are the chiclet style keys, but they work very well. And you got your display here. We'll talk about this. Um, as you guys see, there's no fingerprint sensor or a facial unlock, but you can use your phone to unlock. So if I unlock, unlock my Pixel Fold, it's going to go ahead and give me, let me get in. So I wanted to point that out first. So looking at the keyboard and trackpad, you got a nice, very nice brightness on your keyboard lighting you guys see maybe you can see that or not you can turn it all the way off but it's very nice uh, sometimes in situations it's hard to see uh, because of the color of it I guess but you got your volume up and down your brightness level strain shot all your stuff there that you need and the checklist style keys are nice have good feedback and travel I haven't had any issues with uh, typing on this has a plastic trackpad, but very sensitive. All the adjusters work. 
uh, your two finger, three finger gestures work. The keyboard deck is very nice. It doesn't have a lot of give to it, so it feels pretty solid. And then looking at the display, now this is a matte display, uh, non-reflective, and it's very nice. I really do like the display on this. Uh, the colors look great. A knock that I don't like is not a touch screen. You do have some pretty thick bezels going around here, but overall, the display is nice and colorful so watching your movies and stuff like that is going to be great you also have your 1080p web camera up here that has some great features in it uh, let me show you the webcam right now and some of the new features okay guys so we're in the camera app and going to show you some of the new features that they have added here to the chromebook plus so if you go down to the menu you're going to get this little controls here so you guys see it says noise cancellation, improved lighting, background blur. So if I was in a really noisy situation, I could turn this on and we'll get rid of some of the background noise. Pretty much I've seen it act, other people use it on their videos, works well. Improved lighting, got one light over here right now. If I turn this on, look like someone just turned on a light on that side. Let you guys see the quality right there, the image quality. Turn it off, you guys see. So it works well right there. So uh, background blur right now is off. We go to light background blur. It's not too bad. This is actually very usable. Uh, if you're live streaming with someone or doing your own live stream, this, this image looks pretty good here. Uh, you go to full background blur. This is where you start to see things happening, uh, cutting off different things, your, your ears, your hat or whatever. <laughs> So this one's not too good. The, the light background blur would be the way to go with the improved lighting. And this, uh, this would be great. Now these controls, are, like I said, are usable in any platform that you're using. Uh, your cameras, they're going to always be there. And that's background blur off right there. Uh, very nice features, man. I like it. So let's go ahead and finish the video. So that is some of the new features that's included with the webcam. I think it's pretty nice. If you're someone who likes to, you know, use your webcam for different things. So let's talk performance on this. This has the Intel Core i3 processor, 12th gen, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of storage. And it's been fast. You can open up, you know, multiple apps if you want. You can have a lot of stuff running in the background. It performs well. So if I wanted to open up something else, if I wanted the web browser, open i can go ahead and open this up let's go to twitter on here or x as they call it now you guys see it's going to open up very fast and i can have these different windows open here and i can resize these if i would like to and it's just going to work great you know uh, not going to have any issues with moving things around placing them wherever you want uh, you can have uh, different strings on if you need one for work you need one for play or whatever, it's going to be good. Now, I haven't played many games on this, but I have done some video editing and with LumaFusion, and it works great on here. Now, it's not perfect, but as you guys see strolling through, uh, there's no issues here, and I've done quite a few videos with this since I've had it. All of these I've done and rendered and posted to YouTube, so uh, if you, you can't, it can be done, and I have several different video editors on here as well you can do photo editing like i said the only thing it is not a touch screen so uh that is one thing that i don't like about it now there's supposed to be magic eraser and stuff like that on here but i haven't been able to get that to pull up uh, i'm going to go into my google photos here let me find a photo so i have a photo here and if i go over to so if I go over to settings and go to the tools here, it's not let it's not giving me any of the features where I can uh, do the magic erase on this photo. So uh, if someone can help me out with that, then I'll be happy. Uh, you know, you can leave a comment in the description down there. But uh, those features are supposed to be added in. I am on the latest update for this, so just let me know. So if you need something like word, doing word processing, 
I use Google Docs, Google Sheets, and stuff like that. Uh, there's no, you know, I guess you could download the Microsoft stuff here, but I got Google Docs, Google Keep, Google Drive, stuff like that. You know, that's what I prefer to use and, you know, for doing things like that. Uh, you also get, you know, it's got everything here. You got the web version of it, and then you got the App Store, which I didn't show you guys, but it has the Android App Store that you can go in and download your apps. Here it is here. This is the Android App Store, so you can go in, download your games, uh, apps, or whatever you need, and download them, and a lot, and a lot of them are going to work, so... Uh, some things I prefer the web version of it. Some things I don't. But that's that's about it, guys. The follow up on this, uh, as I learn more about the new Chrome Book Plus features, I'll update you more. But uh, the performance been great. Uh, battery life on this, I'm getting about. It says 10 hours. Depends on what you're doing. That's subjective. Uh, I get about six or seven hours. That's watching videos. Now, if I'm at video editing or something like that, then I'm going to get less than that. Anyway, guys, that's my follow-up on the Zeus Chromebook Plus CX-34. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H, I'm out.